the hay out there. This could be a quick little video I wanted to do just to show the differences on the C3 manifolds. So this is going to be for the big block only. So the 427s and the 454s. Uh, on 68 and 69 with the 427, the left side or driver's side uh, manifold is different than the 454 manifold for the 70 through 74 Corvette. So this is the 427 manifold close up. And what you're really going to notice uh, when you get your hands on these manifolds, the biggest difference is going to be if you get down and look at it this way, you can see how the flange is flat against the table. But when I come back, you can see the real angle difference. So the 427 manifold really tucks in and kind of hugs along the block where that 454 manifold kind of hangs out there. And if I come up close to them, and let's say we take this block out of here, get them both laying flat on the table. You can see in a file photo, if you're trying to buy these online, if you look at the file photo, you'll see the 427 manifold, that flange flips out and you can kind of see inside the hole. Whereas a 454 will not look that way. So it is completely different manifold. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is mount these up on the car. Actually, I got this uh, 427 engine here. I'm gonna go ahead and mount them on here so you can actually see how they look against the engine. Okay, here we have the 454 manifold on this 427 engine. If I back up here, you can see how it kind of hangs almost, uh, you know, straight down. There's not a whole lot of angle to it. Okay, now we have the 427 manifold mounted up on our 427 here. And look at how tight that manifold sits to that engine block. As a matter of fact, I had to take the... Uh, Z bar for the clutch here and disconnect it completely just to get this manifold in here. It's very tight, but you can see how it sits real close to the block there. And it would require obviously a completely different exhaust pipe. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the exhaust system here. So I've got this side, the side mount exhaust here, just the factory side exhaust. Uh, this is for the 454. You see here, you can see that is where the 454 exhaust would mount up. And you can see where the 427 is actually at. So it is completely different and is way off. So if you want to use the 454 manifolds on your 427, you just got to make sure you buy the exhaust system. Uh, like this one, uh, you can see that there. So that is for the 454. And that is a two and a half inch pipe where the 68 and 69 427s, they use a two inch that necked up to a two and a half. So for a big engine like this with a roller cam and got some work done on the heads. So I'm thinking we, uh, should probably let this thing breathe a little bit. So we went with the, uh, decided to go with the 454 exhaust system. Okay, so that about wraps it up. So as you can see, there really is a significant difference between these two manifolds. Uh, so, you know, again, you can run either one on either side, so long as you change that left side exhaust system. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah, so if you're gonna order these, you know, you might want to call and get eyes on the part, make sure you're getting the right one because those part suppliers definitely have these mixed up. It's happened to me over the years because I've built quite a number of these big block Corvettes. Uh, I know it's happened to a lot of other people. So yeah, it'll probably happen to you if you order one. Uh, so I hope that helped you out. If it did, you know, like, subscribe, comment, whatever makes you happy. And uh, well, good luck and happy building.